it is your boy rex back here with another video taking my first load right now with the new truck so let's see how she rides before we jump into this video make sure to give me that thumbs up smack that subscribe button and let's rock We're gonna slide the fifth wheel forward in this video. I'm gonna show y'all how to slide the fifth wheel forward. Right now it's on the second notch. I'm gonna try to get it up two. I'm gonna try to move it up two notches. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do that right now. First thing we need to do is drop the landing gear until it hits the ground. All right, there we go. Now it's, the landing gear is dropped. So you wanna make sure, this is a loaded trailer. You wanna make sure the landing gear is dropped. We're about to hop in the truck right now. And on your dash, there should be a switch on here that says slide. So this right here is a slide the fifth wheel. So I'm gonna push that button. And if you noticed, it pushed these pins in. There's a pin on each side. So now I'm gonna back it up so the fifth wheel goes forward. I'm gonna back the truck up. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you, brother. Had to get my paperwork for this load. All right. So now let's go ahead and back her up. Back her up a little bit. All right. Let's see if that pin locked into place now. Okay, let's go check it. Let's go check to see if that worked. All right. Well, it looks like this pin is coming through it. Let's go over here to the other side. That looks like it got locked, locked into place there. All right, so now we got it, we got it more forward. There we go. Now these are a these are a pain in the butt and i got an abs light but maybe it'll go off the other thing that i like about these freight liners if you notice as we back up you see that the tanker on the back end sags down a little bit that's because these freight liners have a higher fifth wheel than the peak so i won't be getting heavy on my drives anymore it's going to distribute the weight better to the back of the trailer so what we're about to take off right now going on our first trip uh, we're going on our, our first journey we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Going through the Woo! And I see a little light on over here, so. All right, here we go. Ta da! That's how you fix the light. I am pulling up to the Springfield terminal right now. I got to get this uh, trailer checked in. ABS light is on on this trailer. This is the first load with my new truck and I noticed the back rear uh, brake drums are getting Extremely hot to the touch So I let road assist know they told me to come and check it in over here at the prime yard. So We're gonna go ahead and get, go in here and get her checked in All right, cool we good bud good all right what is that squeaking sound so uh, we'll see what's going on i noticed uh after i picked this load up i was driving down the highway for about five minutes and i noticed a kind of like a burning smell so i stopped at a rest area after driving for about 15 minutes and the the rear trailer brakes and rotors were like scolching hot for the touch like it was really really hot so i kept smelling something kind of burning and it looked like the slack adjuster uh, was was out of alignment or something so i just want to be safe down here at inbound over here at springfield they're checking on my trailer right now now we just wait see what happens you're you're replacing a couple of them this is one okay i got you yeah, we'll take one. Ready to go. 
All right, y'all, so I got the loaded trailer dropped. I'm about to go over here to the trailer shop and check in to make sure that they get on this ABS light. The guy in inbound said he checked all the brakes, checked all the suspension components, everything was fine. Um, they did put a back left tire, a super single, on the trailer because uh, there was a nail in it. So they got that replaced, so I'm about to go in here and check in uh, with the trailer shop, make sure I give them the trailer number, then it's checked in properly, and, and we'll see how long it takes for them to fix the ABS issue. It's a speed sensor on the trailer that's gotta be replaced. So I don't know, I don't have an ETA, but we're gonna find out. Well, early good morning, y'all. Trying to still figure out these all these buttons here. Uh, sleeper light. So, um, it took the trailer shop about four hours to fix the trailer. Oh, it wasn't until like 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night until they were done repairing it. They had to adjust, uh, adjust the brakes and they put a new back, this is a new, well, it's a recap, super single. Uh, but yeah, they had to change uh, some speed sensors on it and they had to do some brake adjustments. It looks like they adjusted one of the slack adjusters over here on the passenger side. But I was just coming around here. I was just coming to check everything because we're about to start rolling, baby. We gonna get her done though. We gonna get her done. We're heading to Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. She's riding smooth though. Not as smooth as the Pete, but, but she's rolling. Let me turn on these, uh, my little fog lights here. Turn on the fog lights. Oh, but the LED lighting on this truck is really, really bright too, just like my Pete. So I'll just wake it up, man. I just brushed my teeth and uh, but we about to hit this road man. Let's go man. But no, she so far so good on the truck man uh, Other than the first trailer I get It's got a trailer issues, but I mean that's that's just kind of what you deal with uh, when you're in trucking Just get it taken care of and just keep on trucking y'all. Let's roll. I am currently at the last rest stop in Missouri headed east about to be hitting st. Louis it's starting to lightly snow just a little bit one of the things I noticed with my truck is I'm hearing like a light uh, squeaking sound when I'm driving every once in a while it's kind of random I guess the best way to <coughs> the best way to ex explain the sound is sounds like a hamster on a damn hamster wheel that's squeaking I don't know I don't know another way to describe it but it's just random uh, the other thing let me show you is if I go to take off, if I go to hit release the brake, my alarm's going off and it's telling me that the door is open. So I brought this up to Road Assist and they told me to go talk to our Freightliner rep. Down there's a Freightliner rep in the Springfield uh, terminal at Prime. So I went and talked to them and they basically said, it's because the door seals are so new, it's not sensing that the door is closed. So what I have to do is I have to crack my window, open the door and slam it now when I press it in, now it's not, now it's not going off that alarm, the alarm sound. So uh, that's kind of strange, uh, but it's going to take me a little bit to get used to this uh, truck, uh, used to this truck. Uh, but no big deal. Uh, the buttons and everything are a little bit different, so I'm still got to get acclimated to this truck. But I do love it so far. Uh, I did forget a couple of my tools because I was kind of in a hurry to get into this truck and get on the road. Uh, I forgot my tire gauge to check my tire pressure because one of the tires was a little bit low. Uh, but I, I know it's mostly from the cold weather because now it's not showing that it's low anymore. So, <laughs> and then I did, I did get my CB radio installed, and I had two. the Wilson 2000 antenna is installed on it. It looks good. What I do like about the Peterbilt is how loud it is because if I'm jamming out, I can't hear it. I don't know where the speaker has a speaker. I don't know where the speaker is, but it must be up in here somewhere. And it doesn't sound as good, but I do like, I did get the retractable, retractable unit here. So I do like that. Uh, eventually I'm going to have it tuned and I'm going to have them put an external amplified speaker on here so that way I can be able to hear it when I'm jamming out. And I got my microwave installed and then my fridge. I got my fridge all set up. This has got a little freezer compartment in here. 
it's not super huge but keep my little keep my little yogurts and my little snacks keep my milk because i'm a cereal boy i like me some cereal this is how i do it right here shoot you know we got to keep them cocoa pebbles on, on on deck at all times then we keep a little bit of little bit of raisin bran and you know what i mean you gotta be lucky with them charms you know since i'm at this rest area and it's already been 15 minutes i'm just gonna wait 15 more minutes and just finish out my 30 minute break i'm gonna go walk around the i'm gonna walk around the truck and the trailer let's get another view of it see how she's looking though i do like them antennas though yeah she's looking real good i i like the mid roof style with the tankers but everything's looking real good everything's still nice and secure boy it's getting nippy out here yeah everything look good other than as you can see welcome to prime y'all you know i love you prime you know i'm just playing but come on man yeah i don't see any of the hub seals leaking yeah everything still looks pretty good i do need to take that sticker off up here in the windshield i'll take it off eventually uh the other thing is so i bought a new uh mount for my phone and i have my beanie sitting over the dash like this because when i'm running the heat it is it is blowing directly on my phone and it was getting super hot so for now this is just my temporary solution uh eventually i want to get the uh the garmin uh 1010 uh the 10 inch but i'm not in a hurry to get it so one of the things uh, now that it's getting cold and what i do as far as my trip planning goes uh, uh my trainer sean and uh, you can actually uh you can check him out i'm gonna put his youtube channel down in the description of this video uh sloan trucking he's the one who actually trained me on the tanker side at prime he's now pulling flatbed check out his latest video it is fire uh but one of the apps i would download for to help you with trip planning is weatherbug so if you look up on the screen this is what the app looks like and i just click on this little map here and it'll show me where i'm at and i'll let it load here but now i'm gonna scroll out see i'm just west of st louis here if you look on the screen so this shows you because i'm going to be heading through indianapolis and this shows you uh you know the forecast where you're you know where you're at in the u.s it'll help you with trip planning like right here this blue stuff that's some snow uh that i'm going to be running through so when i get over to indianapolis so this is just a a, a good thing to a good thing to download i suggest it, it helps me out a lot and uh we'll talk more in depth about uh trip planning and things like that so uh all right let me turn this screen recorder off here what the heck is going on man? okay but yeah, definitely uh, uh, download that. Like I said, I've always used the Trucker's Path app, and I actually use the Diamond membership version, uh, which I believe is like $32.95 a month or something like that. I'm not exactly for sure. It's somewhere around there. So uh, that's what I'm currently using. But like I said, I eventually want to go over to the Garmin, the 1010, 10-inch. 10 so, uh, but yeah. Yo, 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 we rolling, baby. We rolling in the freight shaker. Gonna shake them, shake them off, you know? Dang, little fucker, isn't he? Oh, my CB radio is working. <laughs> oh, boy, a little jiggly right there. Boy, I got some surge going on there. So I'm actually running behind on this delivery because... Got to roll my windows up. All right, there we go. So I'm running behind actually getting this load delivered. Well, one, because of the trailer issue that put me behind a little bit uh then uh late last night i was stopping for fuel just west of dayton ohio on the 70 and i had about two hours left of my drive time and as i was about two exits away from getting off to get fuel i heard some other truckers on the cb radio say that there was a a semi truck that was split in half and the freeway was blocked so i'm like well you know what i'll just get fuel and i'll just shut down for the night you know i only had two hours of drive time left so I shut down. I get up about three o'clock in the morning and I brush my teeth, and get ready. And you know me, I gotta have my, gotta have my monster. So I crack open the monster, take a little sip of that, and I'm like, nah, 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 that tastes good. And I do my pre-trip, and me not thinking, I just take off. As soon as I get on the freeway, back up, freeway shut down. From the same accident that happened at 8:30. 8 o'clock at night, I was thinking that it would have been cleared by then. Nope, it wasn't. I drove. 
I got 80 miles. It took me three hours to drive 80 miles. So lesson learned. I should have woke up and checked my Google Maps just to check the traffic conditions, but I did not. So uh, lesson learned. But the biggest thing uh, as far as winter driving, driving in the snow, is watch out for black ice and just, just slow down. Slower is safer. I mean, just go as, you know, go, go whatever speed you feel comfortable going. Don't feel rushed by other drivers. Let them honk at you. Let them flip you off. Let them talk crap on the radio. If they want to fly by you, let them. Those ones that fly by me in the snow or heavy rains, those are the tractor trailers that you see flipped over on the side of the road because they're such in a hurry. I'm not, I'm not going to flip this bad boy over, that's for sure. It's my license. Looks like it's starting to snow again. Yeah, I still got to get used to all the controls on here a lot different but she rides good she rides she rides smoother than the freight liner that i drove during tnt yeah so so far so good Let's throw them jakes on oh a little jiggly right there a little bit of surge see now it's snowing pretty good just make sure when you're rolling out here in the winter times like this just pack up where you got some real uh good you know good jacket good pants boots you know beanie stuff to keep you warm just in case you know you ever get stuck on the side of the road and something like this i'm uh, i'm actually start slowing her down a little bit uh, visibility is not that great oh and she's starting to get windy too Whew. oh man oh man dang it i wish i could just snap my fingers and make that weather go away y'all but i can't so I'm gonna just sit here and cry and keep driving. Yeah, when you see brake lights heading, you start slowing down. Yeah, just be safe. And I do like the, I like the steering wheel on this one because I can actually rip it a lot better. This has got the Detroit DD15. My Peterbilt had that pack, uh, pack car engine in it. That pack car engine was, uh, was really loud compared to this one. This one's a lot more quieter. I got this load delivered. I got back up on their scale, got my paperwork and I already submitted it. But what I wanted to talk about real quick is the first thing that I would get if you start trucking is a dash cam. I know the low light sucks on my camera, but get yourself a dash cam. That's the first thing that I bought. And I had a guy today, he did, I was pulling into a rest area earlier today and hit, he, hit, he, hit, uh, he hit my truck and, and he ran, did a little hit and run. So I'm currently right now getting the uh, the dash cam footage right here. I'll actually show y'all on my screen here. Uh, let me pull up this video here real quick. <coughs> y'all can watch this video here. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you, but I'm going to go ahead and play it right now. I'm pulling into a rest. <coughs> I'm pulling into this rest area. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm pulling into this rest area because I need to go to the bathroom. And I'm going slow. I'm just pulling forward. Now I'm straightening out my truck. And right now, I'm stopped. Bam, 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 bam. Truck took off and he ran. So I was downloading this onto my computer so that way I could send it over to Prime. Because if we actually go back on this video I got his US DOT number, his California number, all the information that I need right here so that way I could send it over to Prime. So my recommendation, get you a dash cam. That's the first thing I would get if you're going to start trucking. Protect yourself, protect your license. It's no big deal. I didn't do, I mean, a lot of damage. He scraped it, but still. Uh, but thank you so much for checking out, my, uh, checking out my video. Make sure to give me that thumbs up. Smack that subscribe button and let's keep rolling.